Welcome back to a Good Day, where we love local, and it doesn't get any more local than U Toledo women's basketball. Tomorrow at Savage Arena, there's a very special event. Head coach Trisha Cullip and senior guard Kira Goss have the details this morning. Ladies, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So I got my pink on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. We want people to wear pink to the game tomorrow. We do. We do. This is this is our uh, our game to benefit uh, breast cancer, and we really want to we want to promote awareness um, to remind people to go get their mammogram, but also to raise funds and for two different organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Susan G. Coleman Foundation and the Dana Cancer Center on our UT UTMC campus. Mm -hmm. So right there, close by. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it so important for you all to host this this game every year? Uh, it just means a lot that we're able to give back to the community, so it means a lot to us. Yeah, so you're going to be wearing pretty cool jer jerseys, aren't you? Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> they're, they're cute. They're cute. <laughs> so, and then they get auctioned off. Yeah. Yeah, the auction's live right now. If people'd like to go to utrockets.com uh, at, I'm sorry, backslash RFC, uh, the RFC auction. I got it right here. You RFC got it. U utrockets.com backslash RFC auction. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you can start bidding and, right now. and help out through the game. Through the game. And as you mentioned, a portion of the proceeds of ticket sales will also go toward these these great foundations in our community who are helping people. So wear your pink uh, and, and come support these great causes, but also take in some really great basketball, too. Yeah, this is a game for first place. We're playing Ball State. We're both tied for first place. Uh, it should be an incredible game. If you look at the statistics in our league, we're one, two in every statistical category almost. So we can't wait. We need a big crowd. Yeah, come on and, and cheer you on. How does it feel for you when you've got a pack arena just amazing the fact that we know that we have the fans on our side um, it really gives us energy um, they're really our six man too mm hmm and how have you you've had a great season obviously again how have you all been training how have you all been working toward you know all this success yeah we just take it day by day you know coaches always reminding us that the most important game is the game in front of us you know we can't look too far ahead so it really helps with just staying focused on the now mm hmm and you get to come back next year don't you I do. you're a senior <laughs> but you get to come back next year yeah. Yes. And so what is it what has it been like playing for playing U Toledo basketball? It's amazing. I love the decision that I made to come here. It really feels like a family. I've grown so much, not only as an athlete, but as a person as well. And the coaching staff has been there with me all, the whole way. Mm -hmm. And you're from Indiana, right? Yes. Yeah, so basketball is kind of like in your blood, isn't it? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> kind of in your blood. Uh, what is it like coaching this great group of women? Well, Kira and her teammates are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You know, we just had our highest GPA ever in a semester with a 3.847, uh, but they're just great people, and it's a joy to go to practice every day. 3.8, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and playing, and having to, I mean, because how many days do you, a week do you practice? Uh, well, practice six out of seven. Yeah, six, six out of seven. Out of seven. Yeah. Yeah. You're She's playing. having so much fun she can't remember. She can't right. remember. <laughs> and you have all your because you're going to graduate. You said you're studying psychology. Yes. So you're going to. I mean, that's it's a lot. But how does that help with you as a whole person? It helps because I feel like I had to learn time management at a young age. So just getting everything together, and I feel like that carries on to the real world as well. It absolutely does. Yeah. It absolutely does. So, uh, Coach, how are you preparing for this game tomorrow? Because it is a big one. Yeah, I think the big thing is that we just we take it in segments. You know, you worry about the first three minutes. You don't worry about the whole game. Uh, but we'll have to play well. They're a very good team, but I think we're better prepared this time around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the, it, there was that game earlier. Yeah. But that's okay. Sometimes you learn a lot from a loss. Yes, as absolutely. As long as you use it to your benefit. But I think that's really interesting. You take it three minutes at a time. You don't mm -hmm. look at the whole... Because when I'm watching a game at home, sometimes I'm like, yo, like you, you got a really good, <laughs> not your game, but like NBA or whoever I'm watching. Yeah. It's like I'm looking at it as a fan or whatever, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at the whole game. Mm -hmm. But if you get ahead of yourself like that, that can really be detrimental, I imagine. Too many ebbs and flows in the game. You can't worry about long term. You got to think about what's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And so, they do. They're great. Yes. So, and the women, you all have just such a great team. So that great crowd support that is coming out. We want them to come out again tomorrow. Tell us again what time. 2 p.m. 
tickets, all that good stuff. Yeah, 2 p.m., you know, come see us. You can go to 419-530-GOLD to get tickets online or, or get them online. But we'd love to have a packed house. This is going to be an incredible game and a great cause, and uh, we'd love to pack this place. Yeah, so if you've never been to a game before and you may be touched by breast cancer somehow in your life, whether it's you or a family member or a friend or something, this is a great opportunity to come out, see some really great basketball, but also give back to some great causes in our community as well. Ladies, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.